A Lamborghini Gallardo Spider is the car I bought a year ago and um, I bought it uh, to daily drive as a daily driver. I don't have another car. Um, I live in a European city and um, I can do most with my bike. Um, and um, I, I don't know, I don't really need a car, but when I have a car, I want to use it for everything too. Um, uh, I don't like the idea of buying a car and have it leave it in the garage because I can't drive it because it's too expensive. And that's what's uh, happened now with me, with the Gallardo. Uh, I finally understand now why people uh, buy these Lamborghinis uh, and treat them as garage, garage queens. Um, I didn't understand that. I thought you put so much money in a car, then drive it. But it's very expensive to drive these cars. So I bought a car, I drove 25,000 kilometers in, 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 in 10 months or so, which is a lot um, for such a car, but it's actually the average for a diesel car here in Belgium, the average a diesel car drives is 20,000 kilometers, 2025, and uh, um, a petrol car on average only drives about 10,000 kilometers. And of course, this Lamborghini is a petrol car, so you could say it's double than the average. Um, but it's not like for somebody who uses the car often, they do 20,000 kilometers a year. So. Uh, or a little more and that's what I did with this Lamborghini uh, but uh, it has costed me a lot of money I'm really shocked actually uh, and a lot of misery too um, so in total I paid um, about 20,000 euro in maintenance costs uh, about 6,000 euro in fuel and then some insurance and other small things. Um, uh, insurance, uh, it's about 30,000 euro. Um, and if you count, well, okay, there's one accident in it eh, where I had 5,000 euro costs at the car because I, I hit the curb I, 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 um, pretty hard with my tire. Uh, and uh, it was banned, so okay, you could have, I, I could have avoided that. So then it's still a total of not thirty, but about twenty-five thousand euro um, maintenance costs. Eh? Uh, so that's not including the taxes of uh, that's uh, the cost I will have every year if I drive this amount of kilometer. I mean, it could be more, could be less, but certain things broke down. Maybe next year it doesn't or or much worse happens and, and more expensive things break down. I don't know, but this was my expenses. The, the breakdowns were leaks in, um, in shocks, leaks in the power steering, um, pumps breaking down from the E-gear and from the airco. Those were uh, the big breakdowns for me in the past year, but uh, it could have been much worse. Um, the, I drove 25,000 kilometers, so I bought it at 50,000 kilometers, now 75,000 kilometers. Sometimes these engines are there to even break down, so then you have to place the engine. That would be 30, 40,000 euro. Luckily, I didn't have that, but the e-gear break down. Luckily, it was just the e-gear pump, because it could have been the accentuator also, and then it would not be like for this e-gear pump repair was three, four, four thousand euro or so. It could have been also 15,000 euro if the accentuator of this e-gear thing broke down, luckily that didn't happen. Certain things are very expensive to replace. And the roof, for example, I saw if you need a new uh, roof uh, for the spider, it's, it's going to be second hand, also 20,000, 30,000 euro. Um, yeah, certain pieces cost a lot of money and I'm lucky that didn't happen, but then other things happened. Like the e-gear pump breaking down, that's pretty common, but the airco pump breaking down, and I never read on forums that people had that happen, so so yeah, that was exceptional. And leaks is actually also pretty common, but leaks from your shocks, well actually, from the shocks that are in there, yeah, that's actually, if you start to have so many kilometers, 
becomes also pretty common but leaks in the st power steering is not common so I don't know why that happened with me but um, uh, the thing is that if you don't drive this car it's a lot cheaper to just leave it in a garage because and I didn't know that I thought you paid a lot of money for such cars it must be a high quality car but that's not the case at all it's called a supercar, but it's super fast. It's not super um, um, uh, durable. <laughs> to the contrary, it's super fragile. And the moment you do something small wrong, you get errors, 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 and breakdowns. Oh, uh, another breakdown I forgot to mention was the the the, the um, bank one five and bank six ten. Uh, errors on my dashboard um, there were some sensors that needed to be replaced which is also a common problem with the Gallardos uh, so um, the thing with this car is that and every month and a half I have gone to the garage and that's not an exaggeration it's really every month and a half and so I've gone at least uh, over over 10 months I've gone at least six eight times uh, I have left the car there for at least one two days uh, uh, at least one day sometimes one week um, and um, that's a, a hassle too oh and other things that break down is the the uh, in, uh, like not from the engine stuff uh, not technical stuff but just the stuff uh, in the dashboard and interior and rubbers all these things also break down um, yeah so, um, um, so yeah, uh, as a daily driver, um, uh, that's not, that's just, that's, so you have a lot of these videos on YouTube about the Gallardo or even articles that, yeah, the Gallardo, you can use it as a daily driver, but that's not true. It's not true because it breaks down often, uh, either the engine or uh, things in the interior and uh, it needs to be fixed huh? so either you do that yourself you have to order stuff and you have to uh, crawl under your car and, 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 and study a lot and learn a lot and, and do a lot of manual labor or you have to send it to the garage and, um, and um, so you will miss the car every month at least a couple of days um, so what are you going to drive then if you need it as a daily driver mm. Uh, you can't count on it also to drive daily because certain things that break down like the e-gear pump broke down well you can't drive it anymore it's out of order um, and um, uh, so even if you pay through your nose uh, to fix all these things still it will break down uh, if you pay if you drive a lot of kilometers you pay a lot of money still you won't have the car available you actually need two Gallardos to, to have one always available because one uh, so that you can have one in the garage and one driving that's how it is I mean that's just how it is I'm not exaggerating it is not a daily driver it's a supercar it's a, ch it's a cheap supercar it's much cheaper than the Aventador or uh, much cheaper than many Ferraris and many McLarens a Gallardo but um it's still a supercar that means it um, has great looks, great sound, uh, great acceleration, uh, it drops jaws, it's an amazing experience and it's super fragile too, it breaks down very often, even though Audi uh, is behind this car, um, it's still a Lamborghini uh, and it's still way more fragile than an Audi. Mm. So. Um, uh, it's just not a daily driver it's a garage queen like all the other supercars um, and if you can drive it a lot but you will need another car also for when it breaks down and to do things that are not very because it I, I use it for everything to go shopping to bring my girlfriend like a some twice a day I use it to bring her to pick her up eh, eh, to do shopping but this makes a little it's fun if you can afford it but it costs a lot of money 
uh, and uh, it doesn't make economical sense well uh, unless you don't mind spending eh, in maintenance like 30 euro 30,000 euro per year and probably mm, you have to also count um, which I didn't do but depreciation these cars have always low kilometers low mileage um, so if you want and, and, and the value goes down but a lot when you put a lot of kilometers a lot of miles on it so if you use it as a daily driver not only do you have very high maintenance costs very high fuel costs but also uh, very high depreci depreciation costs so it's like go sh go 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 do horse a daily horse with your finest costume you can do that but it's going to cost you a lot of money because your finest costume is going to be um dirty real quick gonna cost a lot of money to 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 make clean again or to buy another one and so that's why people leave their finest costume in the closet and only wear it once a year uh if at all uh, and uh, and the same is true with lamborghinis and ferraris and probably also with mclarens and maseratis um these, the finest costume is so fine because it looks really beautiful, but it's not the most um, uh, durable costume, far from it. It's super fragile and the same with these cars. And I really didn't know that. Uh, but I understand it much better now why that is. It's like a race car, a race car on the circuit. It goes the fastest, but it is... Like some some race guy said, a car a race car that doesn't break down um, every uh, third lap within a three laps uh, was too heavy, yeah. and that's true. A race car, if it would be built for durability, it would not be a race car anymore because it would would be way too heavy. Um, oh, these cars, the Gallardo, it looks like it's a cheap car. Well, actually, these supercars are expensive. You pay 200,000 euros, 2,000 dollars. But the money goes all to having the best design and the best looks, the best sounds, um, the best experience, the best acceleration. That's why it drops jaws. That's why it's awesome. But all this money does not go to durability and it wouldn't be a race car anymore if they would do so because it would slow it down seriously huh? um, so I, I would love to be able to buy such a supercar but that it's also durable like a, a Lexus or an Audi uh, or a Toyota but yeah uh, what you see is that even when to uh, Toyota Lexus build a race car uh, I don't know the name of it but well it looks really not so beautiful that's my personal opinion but it's also very, very, very high maintenance costs and very much more fragile than their other their other cars. So, yeah, it's just Ale, such cars. No, it's not a daily driver. It's a race car or or it's a show car. Huh? But if you want to use it every day, well, you're gonna have to put up with a lot of um, issues. A lot of breakdowns and very very high costs that's the truth of it so I'm thinking of selling mine because I've come to realize that I can't afford it anymore to daily drive and um, it was an amazing experience it's really super cool but uh, I can't afford it anymore and to keep it just to put it in a garage and 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 use it uh, once a month on a, on a, on a, on a Sunday I don't want my capital to sit in it then, that's not worth it for me. So, yeah. I really love that car, really. I love it, it's really... Um, I just love the car, but the issues I've had just... It, it, it just, a, a few weeks ago, again it was leaking. I just had put it to the garage, I do one trip, I come back, oil leaking again, uh, cooling fluid leaking again. I had it, like it has been leaking all year. Like always a leak comes back and 
Well, I drive it a lot. I have a lot of. Uh, I use it a lot, and it goes through a lot. But I just had it. It just before I wasn't even thinking about selling it, but then suddenly it. I just felt very sad, and I had it. And so yeah, I think he's going. So bye bye Lamborghini. Thanks for watching. Bye.